Hello and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Deus Ex with me, Valfellian. Uh There's a big bot patrolling around, but I did say I'd shoot a penguin. There we go. Oh, poor fella. What the hell is he doing? He's kind of propped himself up. That's interesting. Um, right. There's a big bot, and quite frankly, the bot's probably going to be too much effort to try and kill. Um, oh. So Billy wants me to meet her inside that bloody thing. That building. If I go in there, there's like loads of guards and bots trying to shoot me if I go anywhere near them. Makes life a bit more difficult. Concussion grenade, I want that. Oh, the sword's useless, let's drop it. Um. That missed completely. That hurt, matey. Damn you. Um, okay, let's heat up. You're quite near the captured Grey that their leader was talking about. Save the poor creature, or the Templars will vivisect him to learn about the Grey's vulnerabilities. If I let it out now, it's probably going to get shot by the robot. Hang on. There he is, in the fridge. Um, that's a grey sword, do I really want to be letting that out? Oh, there's another grey. Um, oh, sorry, I've got six EMP grenades, let's do this. Face plant the bot, there we go. Alright, now it's safe to let these guys out. Uh, oh, I could have just shut it down by clicking that button. Oh, that's a bit shit. Find your way home. Find your way home. Don't need your help. I've already killed everything. Now, why the hell would I want to let you out, Mr. Greasel, when you're just going to try and kill me? Um, right, I need to go inside the bunker. Go on the roof, come on. Get on the roof! Jump! A secret way in. There it is. Listen, I don't know exactly what they've all told you, but you're just a pawn, and reviving an ancient mad cyborg isn't going to help anyone. And you found that the Templars are a sane and reasonable employer? Lesser of the evils offered at this point. The other entities all want you to revive the man responsible for the collapse. What good can that possibly accomplish? Apostle Corps wants to worship him, and the Illuminati wants to try to control him. And what would you propose? The only safe way to deal with such dangerous power and such an unstable individual is to destroy him. It's the only way. That's an interesting viewpoint, especially considering JC's work made us both what we are today. 
That hardly matters in the grand scheme of things. You can try, but you're not going to be able to stop me from repurposing the Helios core for more beneficial purposes. Now, we saw in that video there's a few guys just around the corner from me. What do you think Saman's playing? Hello? Grenade! Oh. 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 Just go ahead and try something. Your turn, killer. Oh, headshot down there. Brutal. Um, right. Concussion grenade. So I got my grenade back, basically. I got two back. Wonderful. I've blown all these doors up so I can actually get all the free stuff. And there is a lot of ammo, so this is going very well. Um, we've got a knife. We have found JC's lair. Okay. Um, shouldn't they have a map somewhere or something? Um, okay, so which one do I need to go for? I need to go to the sanctuary first, so it's opposite where we arrived. Okay. So if we came in over there, this must be the way we need to go. Yeah, that's not coming in peace, is it? I'm going to do this the hard way. It's not the hard way, it's still easy, it just means I use a bit of power. You have been identified as a threat. You have been identified as a threat, but I do not give a shit because you are now my turret. Oh, hello. There we go, a bit of fire. Um, right. Can't actually do anything with that turret, sadly. Okay. Oh, bollocks. It's them bloody power suit bastards. What is the zoom button? I can't see a zoom button. Oh, this is a bit of shit. Hello. The zone seems to be clear now. Yes. This way. There's got to be a, a zoom button. Why can't I do anything? A cycle weapons, next selection. Am I missing something really obvious? I mean, that is a. Um, it's definitely a sniper rifle. Increased range. Damage inflicted. Well, definitely want to in increase the damage. I'll probably go for the frag shot. Yeah, that did nothing. And now it's angry. Purity will prevail. And now you see why I hate you guys. And they explode when they die as well. Oh, hello. Okay, that's got a rocket launcher on it. Um, if I 
time this right. Shit. Wonderful, even though I'm not standing right next to myself. Hello. I think I've taken out two of the Templars. I don't think the third one's going to be interested enough to come and get us. But still, that has just saved us quite a bit of ammo. Which is only a good thing. Um, Ah! It says F for scope. There we go. I don't think he knows where I am. Turn around. to do. We're down to five clips with that. Um, I don't think there's any spare ammo around here, is there? You bastards. Right. Save. Travel to the sanctuary. So we're now inside some really weird building. To revive JC, you'll have to repair Helios's five processing modules with an infusion of your biomod architecture. Prepare yourself for the unexpected, Alex. JC is conscious, but trapped in a struggle with the Helios AI. His memory is so intermingled with the AI that echoes of his former life are embedded in the very construction of this sanctuary. Some guy's diary. But yeah, there's loads of uh, greasels and bad things in this place. Um, must have shut down the containment fields because we're seeing greasels. That's bad news all around. Who would have guessed? Um, so yes. Alex Denton, welcome to your brother's sanctuary. My assignment is to answer your questions and provide transportation. It's getting to be quite a crowd down here for an impregnable fortress. You were looking for J.C. Denton too? I left Hong Kong in 2052 with instructions to search for J.C. Denton near Groom Lake in Nevada. I am an AI construct developed by Tracer Tong. My instructions were not to stop looking until I was certain that Mr. Denton was safe. He isn't exactly safe with my former classmate Billy Adams skulking around. She went over to the Templars. Billy Adams must be destroyed. If she damages the Helios core, she will destroy JC's mind. She was always a prankster. When you have eliminated the threat and spoken to JC, go outside to the abandoned Versalife base. You will need to turn on the pilot beacon so that I can land safely and take you to your next destination. But first, we need to do the base, so... Um... Do I use this? Look at this fun house. I guess it's some sort of architectural photo album. This room is from Hong Kong, where J.C. Denton went into hiding for a while. Talk about ego. Is this what you want to bring about? The whole world recreated in his image? So yeah, this is uh, Maggie Chow's apartment from the first game. The other key is already here. It is time to awaken J.C. But we fear she is here to prevent it and to harm him. You must stop her, and you must revive him. But how? Upon the arrival of the key, JC was to be awakened to welcome the perfected genetic code. Then he and Paul were to share it with the world. Now there is much unexpected violence, but we will proceed according to the original plan. What needs to be done? Activate the nodes, reconnect him with the waking. But beware, the other key has made her own plans. 
What do you mean? She has machines, weapons. She has hate. She intends to destroy JC and all who stand in her way. Do not let this come to pass. That's the plan. Okay, so we're going upstairs. And this isn't Maggie Chow's apartment. This is back inside the thing. And we've got it downstairs. There's lots of goodies if I dare go get them. Let's see if we can get a better view down here. Grease all. Oh, there's some carkins down here as well. That's not good. Um. I mean, what is what is down here? Data cube. There's a bit of ammo and an EMP grenade. Mm. I think I'll pass on this one, to be honest. Um, could maybe try the spider bombs. Come on, lads. Okay, these guys are useless. Go on, son. Go on, son. You got him. Go on, lad. Why is that one not taking any damage, but the other one got blown up straight away? Go on, get him. Get him. Go on, son. I think I can go down here now, to be honest. Oh shit. Shoot him! There we go. Seem to have lost the sound, but whatever. Oh shit, he's gonna die. Good lad, go on. There we go. Um, not bad. Um, Jonas's journal. Uh, some human remain. Oh, Jesus Christ! Probably just gave, gave me the shits then, where it just went, went through the car key and... North Forest Contact, where are you going? Um, ammo, EMP grenade, energy cell, ammo... That was totally worth it. Have I read both of those? Yeah. Cool, right, upstairs. Come on. So, next one. Ah, uh, this is Excellent the... Work, Alex. Prepare this tower of Babel, and just when the king reaches out to touch the sky, we will be there to snatch his hand away. This is my old boss's office at Unaco HQ from the first game. She brings destruction with her. I hope you can end it. I don't know why the exit is in the toilet, but whatever. So what's in this place? Uh, more greasels and stuff downstairs. Is it worth going down there? I'm not seeing much point. Oh. Oh, mind you, there's a few bits over there. No, not worth it. Right, let's go straight back upstairs. Next. Okay, what's this one? This might be... Nebedev's jet, maybe? She 
she moves to destroy JC, we do not understand. Any goodies in this place? I can't even see a way down in this one. Maybe there isn't one. Okay. I can hear a turret. This is the labs in Area 51, and uh, we actually found the clone Alex D in one of these uh, in the first game. A quick save because I'm not liking. Thanks for doing all the hard work finding the way in here. Hello. All I had to do was follow in your footsteps, and now I'm just minutes away from completing my objective. Just walk away, Billy. I'm here to awaken JC. Don't let Apostle Corps or the Illuminati use you as a pawn. One wants to worship JC, and the other wants to try to control him. Neither group can see he's too mad and too powerful for either. I'm going to destroy him while he's still weak. It's the only sane answer. I can't let you do that. I'm going to take you down, but I'll try to leave you breathing. I don't want to kill you, Billy. So this is how it ends? Okay. I'm ready, but I don't think you are. You may have dealt with SSC or even armored Templars before, but you've never taken on a true equal. Or a friend. But I guess you're just as crazy as the rest of them. Another threat to be neutralized. It's over, Alex. Hmm. I don't have any explosive grenades. This shouldn't take too long. Jesus Christ. Crazy woman. That's cheating. Damage severe. Engaging auxiliary components. Where is she? Um. Oh, I did get them both. Damn it. She just vanished and quit. Just on a cheeky little villain escape to reappear later, is she? Oh well. Yes. Virgin. Virgin. Find me near the entrance to the sanctuary. I have so much to tell you. At last, my scientists succeeded. You are the complete solution. My brother Paul was to be upgraded first so that he could carry the infusions through the gate, but there was a setback. You're really J.C. Denton. What happened to your brother? He nearly died two years ago. My chief scientist, Tracer Tong, thought that he'd perfected the biomod substrate, but there were recombinant anomalies in Paul. He had to be cryogenically frozen to save his life. Luckily, you and the other subjects at last accepted complete transformation. Which is why we can pass through the gate and enter this place. That, and much more. We're now ready to transform the human race. It became clear to me after the defeat of MJ-12 that the old answers to tyranny are inadequate. I needed the Helios merger in order to contemplate the problem effectively. And? I'm going to establish the first post-human civilization, and you're my first citizen. Welcome. A new civilization? That's a pretty tall order. What do you need from me? I need you to return to Cairo to rescue my brother Paul, who was seized by the Templars. Then meet me at Liberty Island, where in the ruins of an old military base there is an Aquinas node that can be used to distribute the infusion technology worldwide. Tell me more about this post-human civilization. 
Before the disruptions, Helios and I had many months of productive thought. Up to now, all free societies have started with one premise. Human nature is cruel, unjust, a force to be controlled. I follow you so far. The separation of powers, from Aristotle to Montesquieu, is designed purely to thwart the ambitions of individuals. How comical the West pride in its vast tangle of agencies, jurisdictions, arcane procedures. What's the alternative? Address the flaws in human nature. Make all beings truly equal in both body and mind. If you start with minds that are lucid, knowledgeable, and emotionally sound, the needs of government change dramatically. How do you control human emotions? Antidepressants? Is that freedom? Is it freedom when one child is born to poverty, a chance combination of organic materials, while the wealthy child is shaped every day of his life, enhanced genetically, trained, educated, often augmented nanotechnologically? Why not get rid of nanotech and genetic engineering, the technologies that make people different from each other? Then you go down the path of intolerance, as your friend Billy did. Is human nature perfect? No. Therefore, improvements are to be welcomed, not annihilated in Templar pogroms. As enhanced beings, we can establish a pure democracy that runs on instantaneous input from the electorate. What would this pure democracy look like? The Helios AI has the processing power to handle all governmental functions worldwide, legislative, executive, and judicial. Once every mind has been enhanced and can merge with the AI, attitudes towards major legislation can be processed on a daily or even more frequent basis. You want everyone to be like the Omar and meld themselves together into one huge AI construct? Helios will communicate, not assimilate. Life will go on as usual. Helios is starting to sound like an enlightened despot. All governments have power. The benefit of giving this power to a synthetic intellect is that human affairs would no longer need to be ruled by generalities. Helios will have a deep understanding of every person's life and opinions. What if I don't want someone peeking into my mind? Upon consideration, you'll see that this arrangement is for the best. General ideas are no proof of the strength, but rather of the insufficiency of the human intellect. The words of Alexis de Tocqueville, an observer of the birth of modern democracy. Though general ideas allow human minds to make judgments quickly, they are necessarily incomplete. So? So de Tocqueville noted that an all-knowing mind, the mind of God as he conceived it, would have no need for general ideas. It would understand every individual in detail and at a glance. Incomplete applications of law or justice would be impossible for such a mind. So you see yourself as a god? I want human affairs to be driven by wisdom. Finding the correct recipe for wisdom has been my project these long years under the ice. You seem to think you've succeeded. Wisdom must first be human. You must start with what a human sees and feels. But wisdom must also be knowledgeable, logical, and fair to billions of other beings. How much of you is a machine? Helios and I are one consciousness. No distinction is possible. You expect 10 billion people to submit to the rule of a software construct? What if some of them resist? The people will welcome true equality. Help me, Alex. You've come this far toward restoring Apostle Corps. Finish the job by rescuing my brother from the Templars in Cairo. I'll leave for Cairo as soon as I can. A helicopter followed you here. Tracer Tong sent it to pick me up from Area 51 after my infiltration of MJ-12. Ava Johnson was the pilot, an AI construct. I'm putting her at your disposal. Go back to the surface and activate the pilot beacon at the abandoned Versalife base so that she will know where to land. Okay, so we've got a... Alex Denton. How does it feel to share such an infamous name? Don't be deluded by the AI's ingenuity. Your brother JC has long since been devoured by the Helios Core, and if you revive Paul, you will be reviving a sworn terrorist. There is a better way. More when you reach Chiron. Reviving a spawn terrorist? Chad, have you forgotten what you did in the first game? You were a terrorist yourself. Um, there is quite a few bits and pieces down there. But I don't think I need it, so uh, let's try leaving the facility again. And hopefully there'll be nothing outside. Just the camera. Okay, that's not too bad. But, uh, I think we'll stop here then. And next episode, we're going to go to the abandoned First Life base and try and get out of Antarctica. So, see you then.